Hello everyone. This is Pastor Rick and Tiffany Jenkins, Restoration Church, Dothan, co-pastors alongside of Pastor Andy and Cheryl. We want to say to you today, God bless you for viewing us and we know that God has great things in store for you today. We do want to say hello to our, our family of uh, at Restoration Church. God bless you guys. I miss you and hopefully we'll be able to see each other soon. Uh, we can assemble together and worship the Lord as a body of Christ. But until that time, just, just want to let you know, we're praying for you. We want to let you know that God's got great things in store for all of us. In spite of this uh, virus that's going along right now, God is not shaken. He's not moved. God is in control. I'll always remember that. I just want to share with you just a, a few passages of Scripture today from Joshua 1, one of my favorite scriptures in the whole Bible. God has is, is, is just uh, brought Joshua up into leadership after Moses' death, and he's given him some instructions, and some very, very important instructions that I feel like that we can go through life and adhere to those instructions, and we'll be a lot better off. So today, just some of those things I want to share with you out of Joshua 1. And, it, and it's really three, three things that he told Joshua to do. And you can read along uh, in, your, in your Bible, in chapter 1, the three points that I want to make to you today. He told Joshua, as he said, you're about to cross this Jordan, this Jordan. And these are some things I want you to do. He said, be strong. Let me say that again. Be strong. God is looking for a people that is strong and determined. He says, be courageous. Have that courage that God instilled in you, that you can go out and defeat the enemy. And the third thing was to meditate on the Lord, on the Word. God said that... Uh, if you will do these things, if you will do these things, and you will meditate on me day and night, I will give you success and I'll make you prosperous. God wants those things for us today as children of God. Those things that he has instilled in his word in Joshua 1. That God has a plan for your life. God wants to make a way where there seems that there can be no way. If we'll do those three things, if we'll be strong, if we'll be courageous, and we'll meditate on what God has in his word and study him, and we say, well, Pastor Rick, how, how, do, I, how do I know God? Well, you listen, you read, you study. I promise you, he will come to you. If we're all sincere, we, we call out to God, he will, he will listen and he will come to your aid promise you that. He's promised that in the word. He said he will never leave us or forsake us. You can always depend on what God has said. God bless you today. Thank you so much for tuning in to this YouTube channel. I want you to know that uh, we're praying for you and we can't wait. We can't wait to see you again very soon. Blessings to you.